What's up everybody, Jack here from Half Chrome, and today I want to talk about the Mavic Mini and how it compares to the new Mini 2, right? We've done some flying with both of these drones, uh, and we want to tell you the differences and why maybe this one is a better drone, or perhaps the original might be the better drone for you. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've done a lot of flying with both of these drones and I'm kind of embarrassed to say a little bit of crashing. Now, uh, that was mostly pirate error and you'll see some of that in some of the footage later on. But uh, these drones are both really awesome and the thing that they have in common that makes them super unique is the sub 250 gram limit. Now that's awesome in the United States because you don't have to register with the FAA, but also that whole remote ID thing that's coming these drones currently aren't subject to it. So first, let's talk about this new Mini 2. And this is the better drone, probably. And let me tell you why, right? The biggest difference, the thing that I like about this most is the new transmission system, the OccuSync 2.0, right? You're gonna get a range of up to 10,000 meters. Now, really, you're not gonna go that far. And we did a range test and we didn't get that far. Now, we weren't pushing it, we weren't optimal conditions or anything like that. But this Mini, the original Mini, under the same conditions was about a third of the distance, right? This one maxes out at 4,000 meters on its enhanced Wi-Fi. So really the transmission system, you're gonna get more confidence flying with the Mini 2. Now the camera on both these drones is very similar, except the Mini 2 camera is a whole lot more capable. You're able to shoot 4K at 30 frames a second on the Mini 2, whereas the original Mini is limited to 2.7K at 30 frames a second. You're also gonna get a higher bit rate. So this one will record at 100 megabits per second, which just means more detail, more information, more clarity, and a better video. They've also added digital zoom to the Mini 2, so you can zoom up to four times if you're shooting in 1080p. Now, if you're shooting in 4K, you get a two times zoom. You can even use the zoom to do dolly zoom, and Chris is gonna show you how to do that. Super neat trick, love it. The Mini 2 is also capable of shooting raw pictures. You can shoot in both JPEG and raw, and the advantage is raw is you can do your own color grading. So your professional photographers out there, that's a big win. So the Mini 2 is both a little bit quieter and a little bit faster than the original Mini. You also get a bump of about a minute's worth of flight time. And if you wanted to, you can even use the batteries from the original Mini in the Mini 2. The flight modes on these things are pretty much the same with the Mini 2 getting the added boomerang flight mode. Uh, that's kind of an oblong little circle shot. It's a neat trick to try. Now these drones also ship with two very different remote controllers. This here is the new one for the uh, for the Mini 2. And I do really like, uh, it has some advantages, right? This switch here where you can switch from uh, cinematic mode to normal mode to sport mode. Really nice to have this. You don't have to go into the app to get that. We have a pause button right here. Um, and then the function switch on this side, photo and video, right? Um, it's a bigger remote. You can charge your phone, which is nice. Um, and the antennas are built in the top here, uh, which means orientation is gonna be easier to get. Now it is big and bulky, and that is kind of the big disadvantage of this remote. The original mini remote is nice and small and compact. I really like that with the smaller drones. Now DJI says that the new Mini 2 is actually a tiny bit smaller, but Gosh, it sure doesn't look like it. Uh, so maybe they need to update that on their website. Probably already did. Anyway, there are a couple advantages with the original Mini price and Flymore price. I guess that's just really one. So the uh, original Mini is still less expensive. So you can buy this drone at $399, whereas the Mini 2 comes in at 450 bucks then you're gonna probably wanna add the Flymore package. Now the Flymore package for the original Mini, they only upcharge you an extra 100 bucks. So it was $500 to buy the Mini and get the three batteries, the bag, and all the stuff that comes with it in the Flymore package. Whereas pretty much the same Flymore package, different looking bag, gonna cost you an extra $150. So when you're buying the Mini 2 with the Flymore, it's gonna cost you $600. So all in all, instead of being just $50 more expensive, it ends up being $100 more expensive for really very similar drones. So if you're shopping on a budget, this is the best drone you can buy for less than $400. There are really no competitors. Now we've done some comparisons. We actually have a couple of 
competitors on the way, but so far this is the king when it comes to sub $400 drones. Now, if you can stretch your budget just a little bit more, you are getting more in this package here, um, especially again with that OcuSync and the 4K camera, this is a more capable drone. But ultimately you have to decide which is the better drone for you. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was and you decided you wanna buy one of these drones, we've got affiliate links down below. They help the channel out. So go ahead and click one of those. If you need more information, check us out on halfgrown.com where we have everything from photography to FPV. Hey, good luck and happy flying.